Yeah. What's up, people? Welcome to Buffed Up TV. Y'all know what it is, man. We here. We ain't playing. It's time. Like Coach Prime said, it's time. Salute to Michael, to Foya. Salute to Gregory Crawford. Let's go. Salute to Sonia. Salute, Queen. Let's go. You know what it is. We ain't playing. It's time. Like Prime says, it's time. See what our boys is up to, man. Our boys got to come out and play. Oh, we still got a game going on, though, guys. We got Kansas, Iowa State. Kansas leading by three. Eight minutes left. Eric Smith. In the house, out of Texas, salute to Eric Smith, salute to Clifton Tolliver, salute to Classy Red, salute to Reginald Swan, salute to Dr. Cheryl Dinegale. Let's go, Buffs. Oh, man. We got some people in the house tonight. Let's go, Buffs. We about to, man, listen. I'm excited about this game. I'm excited about this game, man. I just got that feeling, man, that we're going to show up and show out. We're going to show up and show out. Wow, Kansas just threw a long touchdown. That had to be about a 75, 80-yarder. Shoot, I want to see Shadur throw something like that tonight. Yeah, man, let's go. Oh, it was 80. Classy Red said it was 80. Yeah, that was 80. Yep. Yeah, that was 80. <laughs> Wow. These are two these are our two uh tough teams we're gonna be facing uh next year. Kansas, Iowa State. Actually, uh Texas and Oklahoma, they're they're leaving for the SEC. So um but it it's not it, it, we got Oklahoma State's gonna be a tough program. Kansas State's a tough program. But, I mean, when we look at it, man, there's a lot of trash teams in the Big 12, man. We're talking UCF. We're talking um, Baylor's not, not very good. Cincinnati's not very good. There's a lot of subpar teams in there. I think after this recruiting cycle, Coach Prime about to kick off. Man, listen. Trust me, we got dogs on deck. We got them on deck, people. Y'all see what we pulling in for the 2024 to the 2026 class. Y'all see what we pulling in. Man, I just hope that we get, um, we get, uh, we've already got Isaiah Walker, um, 
he's a Juco kid. We got him. But uh, I want us to get. I want us to get this other kid, man. I want us to get this kid. Hold on for a second. Yeah, I, I want us to get um this kid uh 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 um hold on God, I don't know how I forgot his name that quick. Jordan Seaton. Jordan Seaton. That's who we want, people. That's who we want. I have yet to see a lineman. He's 6'5", 300 pounds, and he can move. I have yet to see an offensive lineman as athletic as quick-footed, uh, and just straight out. I mean, this kid is mean. He's mean. He's a dog. So, um, yeah, Jordan Seaton, he's at the game in Colorado right now. And uh, hopefully we can land him. Like Coach Prime said, these kids can see where this team lacks and what this team needs to uh, get to that next level. Yeah, Classy Red, they do need to hurry up. For sure. Reginald Swan, let's go Buffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how they always drag our games out. They always drag our game. We always got to wait. Always got to. We always got to delay, people. We always got to delay. Yeah, I like, I like to see Travis, Zay, or Jimmy Horn Jr. get one of those 80 yarders today. I know one thing, man. They they better be utilizing Dylan Edwards today, man. Cause he they they just took him completely out of the offense, bro. Completely out of the offense. You see how that worked for us at, at TCU. I just didn't understand um what Sean Lewis uh was was doing, man. But we're gonna see what um Pat Sherman can do. We're gonna see if Pat Sherman can uh turn things around, sort of balance things out, utilize. See, here's another problem that I be I have with with um the coaching is utilizing our best talent. Putting our best talent on the field. There's there's a there's a whole lot of um yeah, I get it when a player gets uh tired or a player is winded um or you see he's lacking at some point and he needs to take a breather. Then you put, then you sub in for him. But a lot of this stuff just didn't make sense. Doesn't make sense to me. Just personnel, man. Put the best guys on the field, man. If a guy looks incompetent, do like Bill Belichick and Jimmy Johnson. All right. This game needs to end right here. Sick of looking at it. Right. Kenneth Jacobs. Salute. Lewis is the problem, and Travis doesn't need to play every single snap. That's that's facts. That's facts.
Eric Smith says season is hot garbage. Yeah, well, nah, I wouldn't say it's hot garbage. I mean, <laughs> what are we comparing it to? You, last year, I think it's great. <laughs> when we compare it to last. Over under 20 running plays for CU tonight. Over under, I would say. Probably, probably under. Probably under. Probably under, especially if we, if, if we, if we control this game from the beginning, we get out and get a lead, then I, I can see us running the ball over 20 times. But, you know, if we're playing from behind, nah, we're, we're, we're not going to see that. Man, we're still waiting for this game. It's five minutes left in this game. Yeah. Yeah. This happens every week, guys. We never start on time. Never. So, 21 to 28, uh, Kansas. He says, Sean is hot garbage. Lewis went to the media about Prime? Wow. You know what? I did a video, guys, about, I said, there's a, there's a mole. I said, there's a sellout in Colorado. And the two people that I pointed out were Sean Lewis and Pat Shermer. Isn't that, isn't, isn't that weird? I pointed out Sean Lewis in a video that I did. I pointed out Sean Lewis in, and, 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 and if you notice, you see how genius Coach Prime is? He says, Coach Prime must have knew. It's got to be one of these, one, one or two. Because, you know, Pat Sherman works from the booth, and he works hand-in-hand hand with Sean Lewis. So Coach Prime turns around and flipped it. So now Pat Sherman comes out, and he, and he doesn't do a great job. He can kill two birds with one stone, period. Offensive uh, line coach Bill O'Boyle, he's on the chopping block. Uh, the defensive coordinator Charles Kelly, he's under the microscope. I'm telling you, man, there's gonna be some big changes, man. Coach Prime is not playing with these people, man. Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of yeah, super unknown sixty five drama. Uh, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't say drama. I would just say, I mean, you know, it's just unfortunate. I mean, shoot, some some places are are, are way worse off than Colorado, man. Colorado's trending in the right direction, no matter what. They've already exceeded expectations, man. I mean, we all want them to. We 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 would all want them to be undefeated at this point. But hey, you know. <laughs> Troy Kitty has said, but they need to. Yeah, they need to win in the regular time. <laughs> 
<laughs> Absolutely. Big Worm 28, salute. T salute. Yeah, Coach Prime plays chess. Yes, I'm a chess player as well. And I saw right into that move, putting Fat Sherman in there. Because if Fat Sherman come in here and does a terrible job, he two birds and one stone. Because you know who he needs in there? Byron Leftwich. We need Byron Leftwich. And you know he's been he he's in touch with Coach Prime, bro. And you know, Byron Leftwich, boy, he mm, he was behind Tom Brady in that Super Bowl in Tampa Bay. Yeah, 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 yeah. He do want a head coaching job, Eric. That's right. That's right. Tia Brandon, let the evidence speak for itself. I agree. O line coming. Watch. L will salute. Big worm. Peace, Lord. I hear you. Yeah, we need ASAP. It's coming. It's on the way. No, nah, the game ain't started yet because uh, this game is four minutes left. It's like this every week. It's like this every single week, man. We got to wait uh, prime time for this game to go off so the other game can start. Mama Tia, a.k.a. Reverend Bannon. Oh, blessings. Got a Rev Brandon in here, Columbia, South Carolina. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. The game started on ESPN News. Oh, let me go. Let me go look. Let me go look. Because it, it's definitely not live here, but let me go to ESPN here. Let me go. Yeah, we just not, it's just not televised quite yet here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Where we at? Where we at? Washington's up a touchdown on, uh, all right, we live, we live with it. Yeah, we live with it. Fourth and three for uh, Oregon State's got the ball. Fourth and three. Hmm, okay. So that means they're punting, they're about to punt off. Gosh, man, this is crazy.
First and 10, Colorado 20. Y'all give me a second here, man. I'm uh, See, I got a different streaming service, so it's not live yet. But uh, I can see what's going on. Uh, okay. First and 10. Pass to Dylan Edwards for 10 yards. Okay, let's go. Go. Okay, I see. I see. We we start to utilize our little. I was I was mentioning they need to utilize Dylan Edwards. Dylan Edwards a run for one yard. Second and nine. All right, Colorado. Tag. I want. I just want to see the guys, man. This is whack. Oh, man. Penalty, false start. So it'd be second and 14. Right. Yeah, they playing right now. Yeah, classy red. You're right. Making up, making over half a mil. Yeah. So I think uh, Sean Lewis and Charles Kelly are making about. They got a three year. Wow, I think them guys, they make nine. Hundred thousand a year a piece. So nine times three, they're making about two point something in three years. Oh, third down and three. Oh, first and ten. Travis Hunter for eleven yards. First and ten at Colorado forty eight yard line at midfield. Should do a three for three for thirty two yards. All right, here we go. Oh, we live now. They go travel with them little juke moves. Second and seven. Should do a ram for three yards. Passing complete for Javon Antonio, fourth and two on the Oregon State 44. Yeah, you might want to punt that. Oh, it's third and two. No, fourth and two, fourth and two. Ah, uh, all right, boss. They got the white helmets on. Oh, I see them now. We here. We here. Yeah, I see the game. No, I, I don't show the game. Can't can't show the game. So, Javon Antonio. 
Miss that. So we've got we've got Mike. We've got Mike kicking the ball. All right. So Oregon State starting at their own six yard line. Score zero zero. Yes, indeed. Let me change. Let me get this uh, done here. So we're on a commercial break real quick. Come on, Colorado. Let's go. Oh yeah, Way Morgan Stream East. That's a, that's the place. Score zero zero. Let's go. Colorado, Coach Prime walking the sidelines. It's time, baby. It's time, baby. I'm just dropping everything, guys. Okay, Sherman's in the booth calling plays. Oh, God, there you go. Letting these running backs one free. First down run. Shiloh lowered the boom on him with that shoulder. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to get it together. Ah, incomplete pass, but he was wide open. So, second and ten. Yeah, that tight end just, he dropped that ball. All 
All right, boss, let's go. Ah, oh, man, easy. Easy first down. Come on, man, y'all, man. Come on, Colorado. Travis, what are you doing? Travis, come on, man. You see that one man out there? Get on him. Oh, man. There goes Shiloh with those missed tackles. Come on, Shiloh. Man, Trevor Woods is starting at linebacker, bro. He's been starting at linebacker since last week, man. They don't move Trevor Woods to linebacker, bro. I, I don't agree with it because he's not as athletic. He, he doesn't have the speed that some of our other backers do. But that's what they're doing, huh? That's why I say Charles Kelly, bro. Come on, Colorado. Second and five. Get this guy, man. Oh, fumble. Colorado got the ball, baby. Let's go, Colorado. There's that turnover we needed. There's that turnover we needed. That was Trevor Woods, too. He recovered it. Oh, that was uh, number 30, number three, uh, Marion Cooper uh, caused that fumble. Marion Cooper, number three, caused the fumble. Trevor Woods, he, he recovered it. I knew it. I said that's one of the keys for Colorado tonight. It's caused turnovers. Come on, Colorado. Oregon State doesn't look, they don't look too impressive on offense right now. All right, stat, four-yard game for Travis Hunter. Second down and eight, two, two yards. What? Oh, man, that's like about four yards. Oh, nice run. Nice run, Dylan Edwards. So was it 36? Sean Lewis looking mad over here on the sideline. He looking mad. <laughs> Sean Lewis is like, man, I don't want to do this, man. I don't want to be calling no plays if it ain't me. Nah, Shador, Shador got tackled and uh, the ball came out, but he, he was down. Should have was down. That's fourth down. He was down. Yeah, he was down. Oh, man, no, that ball came out, bro. That might be, that's a fumble. It's a fumble, but it's more like a punt. Come on, Shadur, you know to hold that ball better than that. You know to clutch that ball when somebody's got you.
Yeah, that ball came out. They're going to call it a fumble. They're going to call it a fumble and recovery. His knee wasn't down. I'm hoping they don't, but they're showing it. So that means they're about to reverse it, man. It's about to be a... a Yo, Sean Lewis looked tight on that sideline, bro. Nah, that knee wasn't down, bro. That ball was that ball was out before his knee touched the touched the ground. What they keep showing here, I see it. I seen it. I see it. when you see the right angle, ball was already out before his knee even touched the ground, man. They're gonna reverse it. Guaranteed. Because they're showing it too much. And it's evident. Yes. See? First down. Oregon State. But at least they're they're they're, you know, then they're not in um, you know, they're not. At least it's, you know, on their side of the field. Yeah. All right. First and 10, Oregon State. Oh, come on, man. That was not no doggone pass interference, bro. Or was it holding or what? Come on, man. These guys, these guys are trash, man, at wide receiver. Pass interference. Yeah, he got there early, man. Come on, Cooper. Come on, Cooper. He wouldn't even caught that ball, man. He wouldn't have caught that ball. All right. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. Good tackle, Jordan Dominic. Good tackle, Jordan Dominic. Probably half a yard gain. Telling you, this team is not, dude. This team, Kyle, I'm looking at this team, man. There's nothing dynamic about this team, man. It's like they just playing basic football. Come on, Colorado. Nice tackle, Marion Cooper. Third down. Third and about four. Third and four. All right, here we go. What we got here, Colorado? Oh man. See, these guys aren't aren't wrapping nobody up, man. Everybody's hitting for the legs. This guy gains extra yards. Just wrap them up, man. Wrap them up, man. Oh man, I hate teams that can't tackle like that, man. You guys got you guys should know better, man. Those are fundamentals. Oh, man. Y'all letting them just run all over the field, bro. Just letting them. It's like we're just standing still, man, when, he, when these guys be running, man. Come on, Colorado, man. 
You guys are faster than that, man. This team is just driving down just so slow and it's just so slow. Uh, all right. Second down and five. Third and two. I'm not impressed with Oregon State at all, man. Like, they're playing real slow football right now. But they don't really have the weapons, man. I really don't see the weapons. I, 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 see, I see them trying to wear us down with the run game. Oh, man. First down. First down. And dude, I'm looking at their offensive line, man. They ain't nothing special, man. We should be. Leonard Payne on the tackle. Oh, man. Cam Silman Craig had that interception. Cam Sil Craig, he got his hands on it. Good job, Cam. Second and ten. Oh man, look at this. Touchdown. Touchdown. Nobody, nowhere. Nobody, nowhere. Quarterback just had all day to run the ball into the end zone. 23 yard rushing touchdown. All right, Colorado. I just hate to see us give up stuff so easy, man. Jeez. They celebrating too. They celebrating that little touchdown. I've been wondering all year why why isn't Demoy Kennedy out there, bro? He's our fastest defensive, one of our fastest defensive players. I know he would be our fastest 
linebacker. I don't know why he's not seeing the field. I'm telling you, Coach Hart too. Coach Hart sus too, man, with, with them with them linebacker substitutions, man. My thing is just put the best, put the best on the field, man. Allie, Allie, don't cry. Yeah, baby. Man, listen. All right. Let's go, Colorado. Second and ten. Incomplete Travis Hunter. No, complete. Third and six. Xavier Weaver for four yards. All right. Zay Weaver first down. First and ten. Move the ball, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Move the ball. Oh, man. Shadur Sanders sacked. Loss of 11 yards. Jeez. Ah. Second and twenty one.
All righty. commercial break Uh, yeah, man, these commercials is crazy, bro. Dylan Edwards, he dropped that. Come on, Dylan. Third and twenty-one. Fourth and 21. Pass incomplete. Punt the ball. He gets hit again. Shador took another hit. I don't understand these guys, why these guys are getting pushed off the line so easily. Well, we know why, man. We all know why. Oh, my God. Look at this. Kick return all the way into Colorado territory, huh? Here we go. Here we go, yo. Wow.
Yep. All right. Here we go, Colorado. And it's funny because this team is just playing really really slow there's nothing explosive about them they're just basic and slow and it's like we we just look like we're standing still man i i don't get it look at them look at them look at them they're not running to the ball Oh, I think that's a holding call. Holding. Good job, Colorado. The refs helping us out tonight. Oliver Parks Jr. Yeah, they stop the runs. Yeah. Second and 15. All right, we got a shot here, Colorado. Ah, oh, that was a screenshot. Third and 15. He would have had he would have had a whole field of run too. Oh, sack, Colorado, let's go. At the 46-yard line, that's right, Leonard Payne. Let's go, we needed that. All right, now let's get the ball and score, man. Ty Austin was in on that, too. No, no, no. That was Arden Walker, as a matter of fact. Arden Walker. Uh. 
All right, that goes in the into the end zone. First and ten at the twenty-five. Let's go, Colorado. We need to get the ball in the end zone, bro. Get the ball in the end zone. Come on, offensive line, man. They've been talking about y'all all week, man. We've been talking about y'all all week. Prove us wrong, man. Yeah, these commercials, they got to pay for it. Let's go. Come on, Colorado. Don't play around, man. Yeah. I think we're uh I think we're playing solid on D, man, but <clears throat> offense, man, they they're putting too much it's too much pressure. And Shador has to make decisions quicker. He has to make decisions quicker. A three or four yard run for Hank on first down. He's got 13 dropbacks, five hurries, and one sack tonight. Okay. And five hurries, man. We got to do better. Jeez. You see how this kid just tackled uh, <clears throat> our running back out of the backfield? That's how we, we need to get to the ball, man. We need to get to the ball like that, bro. All right, third down. Third and ten. Uh oh. Pass interference. On Oregon State, we needed that. We needed that. Oh, yeah, we needed that. Yeah, we needed that one. That was huge. That was a Marion Miller. Oh, my God. Anthony Hankerson had daylight, and he slipped and fell, man. 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Hank. That was beautiful. Man, you had daylight to run that ball, man. And you slipped. Lord, 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 Lord. Everybody slipping down tonight, man. This field must be slippery. Dylan just slipped. Okay. Third and 18, guys. Third and 18. Christ. What's that, timeout? Wow, bro. Coach Prime pissed right now. I don't know why I should do it. Just didn't run that ball. Should have just ran it. Just run it. Just run it. Oh, I see that guy there. Jimmy turned his back. He's trying to get Jimmy to go, but he didn't have enough room on the sideline. Jeez, this offense looks terrible, bro. Defense is playing well. What was that? What was that, false start? Oh, man, here we go. Helping the team to beat us. Here, come, here we go. Start see that there's a there's some chemistry problems with this team, man. That's why I say keep 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 the same guys on the on the field consistently, man. And stop stop subbing so much, man. Gosh, man, it's getting ridiculous to watch. Good punt. Good punt. Good punt. Down to the 23 yard line. Good punt. Now you see how the D's on the field? Just constantly on the field. I see why they got to sub so much, man. They're on the field so doggone much, man. Offense, three and out, three and out, three and out, three and out. Come on, man. Got to play better, guys. You know what? If Shadur... If 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 this old line doesn't hold up this game, man, if I if I if I was Coach Prime, I'd shut your door down for the season, man. I really would. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Shut him down, bro, because this is just it's just it's it's you know. I mean, they're doing decent so far. They're only giving up one sack, but. Shadur don't look the same in that pocket, bro. He just doesn't look the same, man. It's like he knows he doesn't have much time, and he's like, 
I don't know, man. It's... You see what happens when you give this guy time, man, but it is what it is. Yeah, this is uh Mm -mm. Yeah. All right. We're back. Commercial break. Let's see how. Need another turnover now. All right, Travis. All right, Simon Craig. All right, somebody. We need. This team right here ain't even as good as TCU, man. The way they playing. I'm talking about how they playing right now. Good sack. Good sack. Good sack. Amari McNeil on the sack. Good sack. Let's go, Colorado. Fire it up. Trevor Woods and Amari McNeil on that, that sack there. Good stop. Oh, another turnover. Yes. Colorado, another fumble turnover. Let's go. Shiloh again, baby. He knows how to target that ball. Yep, Shiloh again. That's one he can do is force fumbles. Nice little two yard game for Dylan. I don't know why y'all running Dylan up the middle, man. Get him, get, get him, get him, get him out in space, man. Come on, man. We need a touchdown here. Oh, man. He just missed Jimmy Horn, man. Shador. See? Getting pressured again. Over through the ball. God, he had that.
Third and eight. Third and eight. We can get a first down here. Dag, man. You can see, um, you can see that 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 uh, Shador is just so uncomfortable in the pocket, man. But that was that was a decent job by the offensive line. They gave him a little bit of time. Dylan Edwards just couldn't get that first down. So we doing it here, kicking a field goal, yeah. Yep, seven to three. Automata with the kick. All right, Automata. We got some points on the board. Seven to three. Yeah, I agree, Ali Ali. We do need another turnover here. We asking a lot for this defense. They done got us two of them tonight. Got two sacks from them tonight, two turnovers tonight. They doing their job. Offense just shoot. God. Come on, Shadour. You gotta get you gotta get these guys in the end zone, man. Well, it's not just him. He still gotta <laughs> he got to hope his offensive line cuz Shadur doesn't he don't look he don't look comfortable back there at all and kick the ball out of the end zone man kick that ball out of the end zone there you go there you go can't be giving up no big returns. Like I said, this this team is is is. I'm telling you, maybe they're flat, but they don't look they don't look. Dude, Colorado should be winning this game, bro. 
could easily be winning this game, bro. Oh. You know they're going to run the ball. Y'all know they're going to run it. Good tackle. Good tackle. Savelle Smalls. God, how y'all let, giving them them extra yards? Third down, third down. Third and five, third and five. Come on, Shiloh, man. Try to go for the ball, bro. Try to knock the ball out of the guy's hands, Shiloh. You just hitting him with these shoulders, man. You didn't try to go for the ball to try to break the ball up. Jeez, first down. Big slow tight end, man, out here just, just doing what he want to do. Come on, guys. Good job. Good job, defense. Great pursuit, defense. Amari McNeil is playing a heck of a game, man. Amari McNeil is playing a heck of a game. He caused that running back to re... Oh, yeah, let's go. Third down, baby. Third and 13. Come on, Colorado. We need this ball back now. Don't give up no big play. Don't give up no big play, baby. Come on, defense. Good stand, Colorado. Good stand, Colorado. Fourth down. Great pursuit. You let them out, but you time to punt.
All right, let's go. Yeah. Pass interference on Travis Hunter. Good job. Let's go, Colorado. First and 10. Nice run by Savion Wilkinson. Come on, man. Third down. These linemen sucking, they sucking wind for uh, Oregon State. The altitude must be getting to them. Come on, Shador, man. You got to do better, bro. Shador is not. Shador doesn't look good at all, bro. Now he's limping off the field. Why didn't you just run, Shador? Why didn't you just run? Just run. Why did you turn around and... First and ten, Oregon State. First down, first and ten, wide open receiver. Nice pass breakup by Levante Bentley. Let's go. Yeah, Allie, Allie. They don't seem like they're in the game. But defense is. All right, second and ten, second and ten. Third and six. One of the linemen's down for... One of the linemen is down for Oregon State. Third and five, third and five. 
Let's go. How did you guys have the quarterback sacked and you let him get a pass off, bro? Come on, Colorado, man. Had the guy wrapped up and let him get the pass off. Come on, guys. You got him right there, number 41. Gosh, man. Man, Colorado's just, I, I don't know. Defense starting to break down now. Nice pass break up, Travis. Second and 10. That's how you break a pass up. Another sack. Levante Bentley, baby. Let's go, Levante. That's what I'm talking about. They playing D tonight. Offense just need to get it right, man. Three sacks tonight for Colorado. Third and 14. Got to hold them here, man. Got to hold them here. Incomplete, fourth down. All right, Colorado, let's go. Come on, Colorado, we need to get on the board here. It's fourth and 14. What are they going to do? A pooch punt? Yep, pooch punt. That field is slippery, guys. Everybody's slipping all over the place.
First down. Drop pass by Jimmy Horn. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Colorado. Let's go. Third and ten, man. Third and ten at the three-yard line. Jeez. Man, pitch the ball out to Dylan, man. This is garbage, bro. This is garbage. 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 He's not an inside runner, man. Pass, get the ball out in the pitch the ball out to him at least, man. I see you guys doing that in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the TCU game, man. What is this crap? God, look at this punt, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Not good. Not good at all. Terrible coverage. Terrible coverage. Dude, there's 21 seconds left in the in the to the half. Oh. oh, God, here we go. Here we go. Look at them. They're in scoring position right now. They're at the 20 yard line, Colorado. Touchdown. 16 seconds left. Here we go. Here we go. It seems like when they throw the ball, there's no one near near the receiver, bro. Fourteen three, halftime.
That's halftime, guys. That's halftime. Shadur is looking like crap out here, bro. This offense, nothing's changed, bro. Ain't nothing changed. 'all see it 14 three at halftime yeah this 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 online is trash bro it is we know that yeah we know that bro We know that. Yep. We know that. I don't know what to say, man. I mean, the defense... Dude, they've been on the field the whole ge the whole half. What do you expect? I think I think I think they've done well to keep the score at fourteen three. Uh, but what's going on on the other side of the ball? I think Coach Prime needs to get let Brett Bartalone um start calling the plays from here on out, man. He's the offensive coordinator at Jackson State. I don't know what to say, man. Yeah, you're right, love. It is time to uh, sit Shador, man. It really is. It really is.
Wow. Winnable game for these guys. Winnable game for these guys, man. Question is, what are the defenses playing? Jeez. I mean, yeah, they gave up these touchdowns, but they have no help. They have no help at all from the offense. Need to get it right, man. Need to come out second half. Colorado gets the ball. Wow, I don't know. I'm anxious to hear what Coach Prime says. Shoot, Sean Lewis doing a better job than did a job better job than this. <laughs> Sean Lewis did a better job than this. You gonna slowly slow the offense down now, bro. I believe that hurry up would have put more. See, that's what I'm saying. You see how it. You see how weird it is. Yeah, Ali, Ali, that's what I say. At least he put points up. This offense ain't putting up crap. They ain't putting up crap. Wow. No, they're not playing the same at all. They look terrible on offense, man. They look worse on offense. They look worse on offense. I ain't lying, bro. They look worse on offense right now. This is crazy. But I, I see what 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 you call doing. He is utilizing the best players on offense. Uh Shermer. I don't know, man. But then again, we gotta realize this is a good this is a solid team. I don't think they're all that. They don't look like they're all that, but they're good enough to be winning right now, fourteen to three. Colorado just can't put no points on the board, man. Christ, we put up more points on, on UCLA, and they got a way better defense than this, man. Way better defense than this. Let's see. Let's see. This was, I, I just did a video. On will Pat Shermer make a difference? Will Pat Shermer make a difference? And uh, one of the things in that video I said was um, making adjustments. So let's see what he does.
<laughs> he said he's making a difference. That crop. <laughs> I'm telling you, none of these guys are going to be here next year, bro. Yeah. Turnover battle two weeks in a row. They had four in the last game, right? And cannot win a game. That's sad, bro. Shador just don't even look like he he don't look like himself at all, man. If I was him, I I, I wouldn't even be out there, dude. If 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 you you know that that's that's not helping the team. So go and sit it out, bro. Yeah, everything's vertical, vertical. You know, going up and, and, and doing little, little little hooks. What about the, the slant plays? Man, they, these guys got the speed for it. I just don't get it, man, because they're, 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 um, their cornerbacks aren't, aren't all that. I just don't get it, man. I don't get it. Huh. Don't get it. Man, I tell you what, man, he might he might start he might start calling plays himself. If this if this game continues to if they don't put no points up, if they don't make this a game, they can't get this offensive going. He might start calling himself, or just shut it down for the year. If I was him, man, I just shut should do it down for the year, man. Yeah, Shadur. I noticed Shadur is getting the ball out in the flats a little too late, man. He 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 he's hesitating, man. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this 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 is uh something else, y'all.
Wow. I'm just anxious to see what they do at halftime. It's going to be, it's going to be, boy, I tell you what, this game is winnable, man. They need to try to win this ball, man, if they want to try to get to the bowl eligibility. Other, other than that, they're going to have to beat Washington State and Arizona because uh, that Utah game is going to be tough. They can win that, too, if they're clicking, but we just haven't seen that version of them in a while. Now, since that Nebraska game, wow! Matter of fact, Arizona's beating up on UCLA right now, fourteen to six. Wow! Mm mm mm. Yep, halftime, halftime. You said, I'm going to look at the first series and I'm going to bed, Warriors for Life. <laughs> Nah, I believe, man, if they make the right, uh, uh, now here's Pat Sherman's chance, man, to make the uh, right adjustments. But you see how Coach Prime, Coach, Coach Prime right now, he put he put both of them on the hot seat. I told you, I said something was, I, I did a video, I said something's wrong with these two guys, man. Something's wrong with these two guys, bro. Any offensive line. Because if you know your offensive line isn't that good, man, you got to switch it up. Got to switch it up, man, because these dudes, these defensive backs ain't that good. They're not better than our wide receivers, bro. Not even close. Not even close. We struggling. Shador looks like a man. He looks scared to death in that backfield because he's scrambling out. He ain't trying to run. He I don't know if he's hurt or not still, but he ain't he ain't running when he should. He's he he's stopping and he's spinning back the other way. He just looks terrible. He looks terrible. Yeah, I I agree, Warriors for Life. I agree with you. I agree, bro.
41 passing yards and 11 rushing yards for a total of 52 total yards, one turnover, and three sacks. This is unbelievable. Don't you know Sean Lewis's offense you know, on his worst day would have put up would 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 have at least now they giving Shador smelling salts, bro, on the sideline. He just they just gave him smelling salt on the sideline, bro. I'm looking in his eyes. He just don't look right, bro. All right, here's kickoff. First and 10, it's 25. All right. All right, first down. Yeah, Shadur got a little limp with him. Savion Washington with a nice seven-yard run. Second and three. All right, first down, Xavier Weaver out to the 42-yard line. All right, eight-yard gain, eight-yard gain from Travis Hunter. We moving the ball now. Second down and two. Oh, nice. Nice catch by Jimmy Horn Jr. for the first down. Oh, they moving the ball now, guys. They're going fast right now. This is their element right here. This is what they're used to. Ah, uh, sack. He kneeled down. He lose about five or six yards. Come on. Come on, Shadur. Shadur is just sketchy right now in the pocket. He's real sketchy. Second and 15. Real sketchy. Third and 12. Yeah, where's Mikey Harrison at? Where's the tight end? Uh, one yard gain. 
fourth down. Jeez, man. You guys always find a way to to get minus yards, bro. All right. Can't let they can't let them score, man, on this drive, man. I mean, this is crazy that Colorado is just cannot choose. It was doing great when they when they when they was hurrying up. All right, guys. We still in here, huh? Good night, bro. Warriors for life. Salute. Thanks for coming through, bro. Wow. How y'all giving up these yards like this, man? These linebackers don't know what they doing, bro. They don't know where they at, bro. You guys are shooting the you guys are shooting the wrong gaps, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Sit your linebackers, sit them. Incomplete. Jeez. Second and ten.
All right. Holding. Second and twenty, second and twenty. Travis Hunter out here getting burnt, bro. How you let him how you let him get a first down on second and twenty, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing, Travis? Where are you? Twenty seven yards, bro. What are you guys doing, man? Look at these holes they're opening up for these guys, bro. Colorado, you suck, bro. You suck bad. Bad. This team ain't even doing nothing. They're do Everything they're doing is simple, man, and you guys can't even figure this out, man. That's why I told you, man. Charles Kelly, bro, you 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 need to be gone too, man. Charles Kelly, all every you need all new personnel, man. When it comes to defense and offense. Look at this. Come on, man. This is terrible. This looks terrible. It's just painful to watch, man. Come on, man, you guys, man. There's no way that man had all that time in the world. And the guy, 27 yards, bro, second and 20, bro. And these running backs, look at this. Look at this. Look at these missed tackles, man. Look at these missed tackles. Look at you missed tackles, bro. Dude, look at this. How are these holes opening up so big, bro? <laughs> you guys suck bad, bro. Yeah. I don't even know why you even keep you doing the game. They score here. Take them out, man. Just take them out. Try again some other time. God, man. This defense is playing slow as hell, bro. You're tired? Say you're tired. Oh, man. I'm telling you. Come on Colorado you guys are better than this man another another good job by Levante Bentley third and long Colorado will figure out a way Charles Kelly will figure out a way to let you guys let them get the first down Good job, Levante. Third and long. See what we do here. First down. What did I tell you guys? First down. And they got Kendrick Breedlove on the field, bro. You know what, man? This, you know what? This defensive coordinator, bro, this is garbage. You guys are garbage. You guys are garbage, bro. 
They send an all out blitz, man. Man, wide open. Wide open. Jeez. That was garbage, bro. Just let them score, man. Just going to let them score. Nice tackle for a loss. Bentley. Bentley. Another, another tackle for a loss. Well, at least Bentley's stock is rising for the NFL. Great job, Levante. Second and 14. You can't let him get a touchdown here. First and goal. Don't let the quarterback. Doesn't have no no spy on the quarterback. That's why I say this 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 defensive coordinator is trash. He's trash. He's trash. Nobody on this. Nobody there. Just a wide open field, bro. First and goal at the one, guys. Go and give him a touchdown, man. Was that flag? All flies on the defense. Charles Kelly looking crazy over there. These schemes. It's all about the schemes, guys. These schemes are all wrong. Go and give it to them, man. You guys ain't even big enough up front, man, to stop them from getting in the end zone, man. Touchdown. Been in. Look at Charles Kelly. Charles Kelly, he's got his hands on his damn head, man, because he knows his job is about done. Job's done, bro. Y'all y'all got the wrong schemes, man. You got the wrong schemes. Coach Prime over there, Coach Prime over there, I see his face, and his face says, oh, y'all think this is a game. Y'all think this is a game. Watch what I do. still lining up in the neutral zone. Man, they just chewed up over seven minutes of clock, man. That's crazy. On one drive. It shows you they ain't, they ain't all that, man. Our defense got it. Our defense must be exhausted right now. They should be in shape. I don't understand how teams come in there. That altitude crap, you can throw that out the window. Throw that altitude crap out the window. I, I don't believe that no more. That's, that's, that's a myth. Because it seems like the teams that come in and play, they're in better shape than we are. Oh, they go. Oh, let's go. A score. Kendrick Breeze love for the score, baby. That's right. We get two points. Safety. 
and we get the ball. Good job, Colorado. 21 to 5. All right, now we need to score here, baby. We back in the game. Twenty-one five. That's right, Kendrick. Good job. They went for two instead of the one after they got the penalty. Bit him in the behind. Come on, Colorado. You still in this game, man. You still in this game. Just have to come down and score, baby. Good job. Let's see how let's see how our offense holds up. Because they've been crap all night long. If it wasn't for the defense, man, this game be out of hand by now. Come on, man. Let's pull off a of Colorado State here. Let's pull off up one of them games like we did with Colorado State. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's a safety. That was a safety. Because it was a two-point conversion. Yeah, they were going for a two-point conversion, so we can only get two. But but they got to punt the ball to us. So we get the ball, too. We get the two points. And we get the ball. Now, if that was a regular play, that would have been a touchdown. Oh, uh, no problem. No problem, bro. Salute. Ton, Ton Yoto Sport. Salute. Yeah, now they got to punt. They got to punt us the ball. They, they can't kick it to us. They got to punt it. All right, Colorado, we got some momentum here. What are we going to do with it? All right, Shadur. Eighty-three total yards for Colorado. He gets sacked. Shadu is terrible right now, guys. He looks terrible.
He's not even accurate. He's not even throwing the ball on a dime. Look at his eyes. He looks like a deer in the headlights. He doesn't look well at all, bro. He looks terrible. Look at his eyes. His eyes are dead. Shadur's eyes are dead on this field right now. He looks terrible, bro. He does not look like Shadur, bro. He's hit again, bro. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. Get him off the field, coach. Get him off the field, coach prime. Get him off the field, man. They're trying to get you to do a kill, bro. These guys are trying to get Shadur killed, bro. Terrible. Ain't nothing changed with the offensive coordinator, man. They're doing the same shit. Wow, man. Get him out of the game, man. I don't see what Colorado can win this game now. Absolutely not. After watching that series, nah. Shadur is just out of whack this game, man. He he's moving in the pocket when he shouldn't. He 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 he's so he's so busy about getting sacked. He he's so worried about getting sacked that He's taking his eyes off of downfield. So how do you find a receiver? It's terrible, bro. Pack it up, Colorado, man. Try again next year, man. That's all I got to say. Ain't no shame in that. No shame in that. Because this is the worst outing I've seen all season. The Oregon game where they got beat and only scored six points looked better than this. Ugly. Ugly. Absolutely terrible. Sleeping 972 said it best. Terrible. Like Charles Barkley. Just terrible. Just terrible. 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 The Colorado Buffalo. They just playing terrible. Man, listen, man, listen. This team is straight. They just went to straight trash, man. And I'm telling you, these schemes are not. They just, they just. First of all, we are, we we got so many things against us. Man. And you know what I noticed? That tank, big tank, the left, the oh yeah, Shadur is out of the game, man. He's headed to the locker room. But you know what I noticed? These linemen, these linemen are slew footed and slow, bro. They're slew footed and slow. Now we got Kendrick Breedlove in at 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 at, at corner, bro. 
Yo, Charles Kelly, he, he, he sucks, man. He sucks. And you know what, Coach Prime? I'm putting it all on you, Coach Prime. I put everything on you, Coach Prime. Because you're putting up with it. We've been, we, I put videos out weeks ago about this. Everybody else has too, man. It's on you, Coach Prime. You deserve everything you're getting, man, because you ain't, you ain't, you ain't reacting to it, man. You ain't react. Well, 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 you finally reacted after weeks to Sean Lewis. We all knew about him, but Charles Kelly sucks. Charles Kelly sucks. Linemen are way too slow. They just have no footwork at all, man. None. None. I've seen high school uh, players with better footwork than these linemen, man. They're just slow. They're just big and slow. Need some athletic linemen in there, man. You go you go down, you man, you look at them Alabama, the Georgias, they got athletic big men. 320, 350 pound guys, man, who can who who can move, man. Miss tackle again. Vontae Bentley, good job. Good job, Levante Bentley. He's everywhere tonight. Like I expect him to be. 300 yards to 78. Yo, this secondary is a bum tonight. Straight bums. Straight bums. Wide open. Who is that on? Let me see who that's on. That was terrible, bro. Who's playing quarterback over there? Who's playing quarterback over there, man? That's bad. Charles Kelly, you're, you're calling a terrible game, man. Absolutely atrocious, man. First down. Oh, God. You just tearing y'all asses apart, bro. Give it up, man. Take the take the whole starting team off. Put 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 the put the second team in, man. Put the second team in, bro, because y'all y'all look like straight trash. Straight trash. I think Coach Prime about to take uh, Shadour out. Coach Prime's telling him it don't make no sense for you, us to put you back on the field. Put Ryan Saul out there. He might he might be able to to you know. We're not winning this game. We know that. There goes Shador's stats. There goes his stats. Shoot, he was uh, he was averaging three hundred something yards a game. This is gonna drop him heavy. He gonna be in the two hundreds now. No touchdowns either. Oh man, this is ugly. This is ugly. I know that's what he's thinking. I at least want to throw a touchdown pass or so. 
Yeah, it's too late, though. This game's over, man. It's about to be 24 or 28 to 5. If I was Coach Prime and these coaches, I'd stop, I'd, stop, I'd stop giving these guys pep talks, man. Don't say nothing. I wouldn't say anything anymore. I wouldn't say anything anymore. I'd just be like, hey, you guys want to win? Go out there and win. No, I, ain't, I, ain't, I shouldn't have to motivate you anymore. Because it, 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 it doesn't work. It's not working. Especially, especially with, you know, the type of schemes they're running, man. The reason why I know what's going on, man, I'm a coach. I'm a coach and an ex-college football player, so I see what's going on on the field. Charles Kelly is not putting these guys in the best possible situation to succeed. Because there's no way we have this athletic ability and guys are, like, totally wide open, bro. Like, how come our guys aren't totally wide open? And, and, and I know that our receivers are better than theirs. It just it doesn't make any sense to me, man. Coach Prime needs a, a coaching staff overhaul as well. He need to hit the transfer portal for some coaches. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. And you got you 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 you. you. They ain't gonna do it or run the ball. Third down. Shadur hasn't tried to run the ball at all tonight. He can't. He's hurt. Incomplete. Fourth and goal. Field goal. Forcing the field goal. And good.
Shoot, now it's a three score game. It was only a two score game. All right. Let's see if she do it plays this series. Wow. Super Unknown 65 said they stopped believing. Yeah. Yeah, I wish it I wish these coaches would have kept giving them something to believe in. I'm telling you, it's it's these schemes, man. It's been the schemes. It's been the scheme. That's a shame. Don't even have 80 yards of total offense. Yeah, Shadur is coming back on the field, huh? Or not? Yeah, he's coming back. Coach Prime said, you got to go get a new lineman. He throwing incomplete passes. He's not there. Shadur doesn't miss passes like that. What are you doing, Shadur? Get him out of the game, will you? Please. Shadur needs to get out of the game, man. You're looking terrible, bro. Get out of the game. Dylan, that was wide open right there. Dumping the ball. Uh, you can't because he, he had the ball in his wrong hand. He had it in his left hand. Third and ten. Third and ten. No, oh, they're sending the blitz. First down by Travis. Travis, go upfield, man, and stop all that dancing, man. Dancing too much. Flag. Ball start. Mm. 
Oh, come on, Van Wells. What are you doing, Van? Here we go. Beating our, helping them to beat us. First and 15. Here we go. Here we go, helping them to beat us. What is he doing, man? What is wrong with these guys? Yo, Shadua needs to get out of the damn game. You look like straight trash right now, bro. Get out of the game. Get out of the game, bro. Get out of the game, bro. Nice, nice game by Mario Miller. Third and eleven. First down by Weaver. That's right, Xavier Weaver. Let's go. Thirty six yard gain. First and ten, Colorado. There's plenty of time left for them to get back in this game, bro. First and ten at the fifteen. Touchdown, Travis Hunter.
Good job, Travis. Twenty three twelve. Come on. Colorado's still in this game, bro. Go, Colorado. Come on, defense. Need you now. Now we're going to see what the defense really made of. They need a three and out right here and get that ball back to Shador. Wow. He said, need that TD. I had to turn the game off and then just come back in time to see Hunter score. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm here. I'm here to I'm here to the end, man. That should give him a uh That should at least give him some confidence, man, to uh try to make this a make this a game. And um next time they score, they're gonna have to go for two. Gonna have to go for two. And um, but the defense is gonna have to hold here. Three and out would be amazing. Ten minutes left though. Yep. Weaver's got to be over 700 yards receiving. Nice. They just need to keep an eye on this quarterback. They need to put a spy on this quarterback to keep him from running. That's what they need to do. They need to be able to, 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 to stop this run game, too. Look at this. Look at this. These holes are too big, man. You guys are...
Third and two. Y'all knew the run was coming. Knew the run was coming. It looks like one of their guys blocked like three of our guys at once. <laughs> I'm like. Need a turnover, Colorado. Look at this. How is the tight end wide open again? How is the tight end wide open again? This kid is a 300-pound tight end, and he's wide open. Dude, this is bad, bro. This is bad. Charles Kelly, his scheme. His scheme sucks. There's no way somebody should be wide open, bro. No way. Look at that missed tackle. Look at that missed tackle, bro. Missed tackle, bro. Yeah, he was out of bounds way back there, though. Yeah, he stepped out. Thank God, because he was on his way. Colorado can't stop the run, guys. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you. They cannot stop the run at all. Can't stop it. Sad. This is where they need a stop or a turnover. But they, they're deer in the headlights again. Deer in the headlights again. Look at that. Can't stop the run. And the defensive coordinator can't adjust to put people in these gaps. You just can't adjust. Look at Trevor Woods, man. Just getting just, just. What is Trevor Woods doing there, bro? Dude, you're garbage. You're garbage, Charles Kelly. You're garbage. Straight garbage. Is that Kamani McLean I see on the field?
There you go, running the ball. Where are the linebackers at? Where are the linebackers at? You got a lineman chasing down the quarterback. That was a damn intentional grounding penalty. Go and give it to him, Colorado. Fourth and three. Forty-one yard field goal. Good. Yeah. Four minutes left, man. Yeah, this game's over, bro. Game over. Game over. Game over. Put the backups in, man.
Shador, 94 yards, one touchdown. First down, Dylan Edwards on the carry. Offensive line, they are doing a little better job. We don't have time, guys. What are you guys doing? Come on, bro. Why are you running the ball now? Why are y'all running the ball now? Jimmy Horn Jr. God, he almost broke that. Yo, Shadur is crap today, man. You're crap. You see the clock running down, bro. You spinning and running into linemen and Come on, bro. Y'all looking y'all looking crazy. You gave up another four sacks this game, bro. Come on, man. You're taking too much time, Shador. Nice catch, Travis Hunter, first down. Let's go. Touchdown, Colorado. Anthony Hankerson. Colorado scores. Colorado scores, bro.
Colorado down a touchdown. Under two minutes left. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to hold them. They, they they wasted way too much time on that drive, man. Shador, you wasted way too much time on that drive. Great job scoring, though, but you, there was no sense of urgency, man. Down a touchdown. We're gonna have to hold them to a three and out here, man. Use our use our timeouts. Unless we get a turnover here. Turnover for a touchdown would be would be it. Offense didn't show up in the first half. Now they're showing up in the second. Colorado needs to stop, man. Second and four. That's game right there, baby. That's game. Can't stop the run, bro. They know you're going to run the ball, and they can't stop you.
Look at that. Look at that. Look how they running the ball on him, man. Kamani McClain's out there. Defense, the defense played well. Offense just didn't show up in the first half. That's why I say, man, if they had to showed up in the first half, Colorado could have won this game. Defense played well enough for them to win it. Uh, so this this will be it right here. That's the game. That's the game. Yeah, the offense couldn't get nothing going, man. Let's game. Twenty six nineteen. So that'll do it, people. That's it. Tell you what, the boss fought. They did fight, man. Just a little too late. A little too late. But uh
So there you have it, people. Bucks come up short. Started off slow. But they did come on in the end. Lose by a touchdown. But um, just couldn't stop the run, bro. Team could not stop the run. The run, the run game killed this team. And the secondary. Oh, in the secondary, bro. Too many big plays. And like I said, this team wasn't even all that, bro. Oh, sucks. But um, yeah, man. Um, Colorado's got to make some changes. Got to make some changes. I'm telling you right now. Offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, offensive line coach. Got to make some changes, man. Got to make some changes. We need personnel. We need bigger, more athletic linemen on both sides of the of the ball. Uh, because what I noticed, man, is the footwork of Colorado's offensive linemen is just very, very slow. And it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. You know, um, you know, we, we can, we, I did have this team making a bowl game. However, however, you know, at this point, it's up in the air. They're going to have to win the next two games because going into Utah is going to be really, really tough. They're going to have to win next week. Um, so um, I don't know, man. This needs to be a lot of big changes. Transfer portal coming up, recruiting. We're already doing our thing, man. We got We got a lot of players on deck. So... So things are going to be, things are going to be better than next year is definitely going to be better than this year. And that's all you can expect. That's all you can expect. You know, let's keep getting better. Keep getting better. So uh, Washington um, actually actually beat USC in a shootout. But Coach Prime, you know, like I said, you know, I think he waited a little bit too late to switch things up. You know, because you're in a must-win situation. If you try to make a bowl game, if you're just trying to finish the season out, then, hey, this is what it is. If that's the case, then you know I would just, I would just sit Shador for the rest of the season, man, so that you know he doesn't risk severe in- injuries. So, yeah, that that old line does need to go. Yeah, Ali, Ali, you're right. You were, you guys are right. One hundred percent. No, it is it is the coaching because the coaching's job is to put the players in the best possible positions. Um, and I didn't I don't see that. I'm a coach myself, and I know what I see on the field. These schemes are wrong. The schemes that these coaches are calling are wrong. They're wrong. They're wrong. So it's coaching first. It's coaching first. We have the athletic ability, but it it it, it it's uh it's um the schemes are wrong.
Absolutely, Jeremy. I agree. Yeah, we know he, 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 he we're, we're, we're nowhere near championship caliber team. Um, and the way it looks now, not even a, a, a bold caliber team. You know what I mean? I'm not saying we can't make a bowl because we have three games left. We have to win two out of the three. But uh, yeah, I, 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 I of course, I, I, dude, I've been pleased with the four wins. With the four wins, I'm, I, come on, man, they've already won this year. They've already improved. You know what I'm saying? They've already improved. But um, like I said, it's the schemes. The schemes are wrong. The personnel, all the personnel changes throughout the game. That just throws the game off, man. It, it, it really does, man. You know, not playing your absolute best players on the team, on the team, man. Like I, I've yet to see... Um, I'm wondering where Demoy Kennedy, where's Demoy Kennedy at? Why is he not on that defense? Is he not healthy? He's on he's on he's on the on the uh special teams. You you get what I'm saying? Like this just it's I don't know, man. It's just weird. I know what I'm seeing, man, and, and Coach Prime is starting to see it now, but it it's just a little late. <laughs> You know, he's seeing the exact same thing that, that I'm seeing, man. But he, he's but I think he's a genius in in um doing what he what he's what he's done. Um and putting Pat Shermer there because now he can actually see um that there's a need there. I'd like to see Byron Lefrich come in, man. Uh Warren Sapp's gonna make a big difference when he comes in. Um for the defensive line once they beef up and get some some big dogs in here we're gonna be fine especially in the big 12. oh they're gonna we're gonna win some we're gonna win major games in the big 12. best believe that because i already see the schedule i already see the teams dude colorado's gonna thrive in the big 12 for sure Yeah, the defensive the defensive line is a little too small, man. Yeah, they 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 they're too small. We need big athletic linemen, bull rush type type of linemen, you know. Oh yeah, uh Pound for pound, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, NFL players can be can be good coaches, man. There's plenty of them. There's plenty of them already. You know what I'm saying? The 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 Harbaugh's, um, uh, 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 Eric Bieniemy, um. There's tons of them, bro. Like we can we can go on, man. There's tons of them. Of course they can. They know, especially if you know the game. See. A lot of times we 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 put it on these uh, uh um a lot of times um you know when you get a coach that takes on a team that's rebuilding he's 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 it's not going to be a good ride for him man unless they, you know the team can um compete you know Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, he does have have uh um surfer boy. Yeah, he does um have uh focus on the trenches. You haven't heard him speaking? That's all he talks about. He knows that's what he needs. He says we're seven to eight players away. He's talking about the trenches. We have all the skill players, man. We have the skill players. We have the quarterback. We have the receivers. We have the cornerbacks. We we he's talking about trenches. 
he's talking about trenches. You got to remember, we we still got Jeremiah McCrimmon, man, who who's red shirt shirting right now. He's a big offensive tackle. He hasn't even seen a game. He's going to red shirt this year. Um, and then we've got uh, Isaiah Walker coming in. He can play both ways. He can play defensive line or O line. So it's just a matter of where they want to put him. Hopefully we can get Jordan Seaton, who is visiting today, who is the top offensive line. I mean, he's something special, man. He's got to be the number one priority for Colorado right now, man. Getting him in. If you watch film of this kid, I just did a vi- uh, I did a video on him. I did a video. Uh, go check out my videos, man. And um, the the um, this kid is so athletic, man. He's so he's so athletic for a big man, man. I'm telling you right now. It's it's something to watch. Oh, Tyler Brown, yeah. See, we can't forget about Tyler Brown. Absolutely. Man, Tyler Brown is at guard, please. Half of the stuff wouldn't be going on, man. He'll be back. Yeah, Tyler Brown's a problem, bro. Strongest lineman on the team. He's a dog, too. Oh, they already got that in place, pound for pound. You didn't hear Coach Prime uh, um, saying that they have too many recruits right now that they can that they that they can handle. So so that means they get their pick. He says they get they were getting about two hundred calls per day. That was weeks ago, a couple weeks back. He said we we getting two hundred calls per day. So that means that there are guys calling already, man. And and you know those must be. Um, Transfer some transfer portal guys as well. You got to remember, some guys are on some teams that are they're redshirting, so they're not even playing, and they're already um, planning to uh, to get out of there. Because because they all know, Coach Pond says, if you think that anybody watching this team doesn't know what we need, so that means that you know you got offensive and, and defensive linemen they're watching man and they and they're calling and saying I know I can help I know I'm I, I know I can help you you know what I'm saying and it's more attractive when you don't have a good offense and defensive line it's more attractive to them guys because they know they can come here and play oh yeah we're gonna be a problem next year Anthony Phillies, Tyler is a beast. Yes, I like the turnovers by Shiloh. Man, Shiloh's always forcing fumbles, man. Always forcing fumbles. But he just got to learn to wrap the defender up, man. He got to start wrapping up the defender, man. I hate that he isn't, he, he, he is tackling, he, he needs, he needs to work on his tackling, bro. Cause he gives up a lot of he gives up a lot of um he gives he gives up a lot of uh, uh uh yards after after the catch and you know or after the run man he he just he he doesn't like to wrap nobody up man you can't always tackle in that way man you can't always tackle um with your shoulders. You know what I'm saying? You gotta wrap guys up. Yeah, he's definitely he's he's definitely valuable on this team, man. He is a starter on this team, man. Cause uh I mean, geez, he's caused several turnovers. What about four or five turnovers this season? So you need somebody on. He's an enforcer back there, man. He's one of them guys that'll 
that'll hit one of them players and make them, you know, think twice about <laughs> coming across the middle again. You know what I mean? He's one of them guys. Always got to have an enforcer on your team, man. Shadow's that guy. I just don't like how our that the, the scheme that Charles Kelly is, his scheme is just off, man. The linebackers, the, the – the thing is, there's no linebackers. I don't know why the linebackers are crashing down. And them holes are opening wide open, and those runners have all that space to run in, man, before somebody gets to them. It's just... <sighs> the scheme's wrong. He, he's running the wrong schemes, man. There's no spies on the quarterback. Put a spy on the quarterback. You know he's. You, you know what I'm saying? Cover cover your areas, man. I'm a coach. I know. I play defense in college and offense. So I know what I'm seeing, man, and, and the schemes are off. And I'm not the only one who says it. You can go on any of these podcasts, man. They're going to tell you this. They, they'll tell you the same thing, man. Tell you the same exact thing. The schemes are off. They're off. Yeah, defense did look better. You're right, Allie, Allie. They didn't show up for three quarters. They were missing the whole first half, bro. And and guess what? You notice when they start playing up, uh, the, they picked up the tempo. They started moving the ball. You notice how the first half they played. They they slowed it down, and they still didn't. They still didn't utilize the running game. You know what hurts? Out McCaskill, man had to. He he decided to redshirt. I don't blame him because. They don't utilize running backs like 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 the, we don't we don't utilize running backs like we should. You know, you had a bruiser like uh, uh, Alton McCaskill, who's big, he's fast, he can run, you know, um, and he saw where he's not he 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 wasn't being utilized. The deep, the, you know what I mean. If we're gonna use scat backs, use scat backs. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you just need that physical runner. You see Savion today. He looked he looked pretty good. He had a couple good runs. But there's a there's such thing as a player getting his groove. You know, you you put him in for two plays, you take him out. You put him in for a play, you take him out. What about those players? You know what I mean? You wanna you wanna let your running backs get in a groove, man. You know, if you watch it in in, in 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 the NFL, man, running back gets in the groove, just give him the ball, give him the ball, give him the ball, give him the ball. You know, with all that hot and cold, I'm telling you, man, that, that does a lot to a player, man. Does a lot to a player. Yeah, they got to get better all around, Daniel Williamson. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, man. You see that? You see them holes, them, 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 them. And like I said, before the game, on the on the first couple of drives, what I saw from Oregon State, I said this team isn't that good, man. They're slow, and we just, oh my God, man, we were just letting them, them, them holes. You could drive, you could drive a tractor trailer through those holes, bro. I was like, what is this? How do you stack the box? You stack the box and giant holes still open up, bro. It's crazy, bro. It, 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 it's sad. Yeah, man. It's, it's sad, man. Our quarterback is not the same. I saw it in him today. He's not the same. He He's just afraid, throws him off. Throws him threw him completely off his game today, man. In that first half, uh, he was running. He was just he was just running the wrong ways. Um, he wasn't 
running when he should have ran run you know like he was just hesitant man because he, he he was just it's like he was scared to death in the pocket bro that's not good that's not good for your quarterback man your quarterback's supposed to be poised he's supposed to be relaxed he if he needs to move he he needs to move you know because when you're doing all that you're not looking downfield you're not looking downfield that's why he eats the ball a lot and 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 he he'll he'll go down He doesn't have enough space to plant and find someone. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just sad, man. Our offensive line, they they just. But this is good. This is good for Colorado. It's good for Colorado to know what they really need. The areas they really need. That's what this year should have really been about. We expected us to be better, but shit. I'll take the four wins, bro. It ain't no one in 10. <laughs> one in 11, I mean to say. Yeah, and like I said, Coach Prime knows them, the 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 offensive schemes. I like Sean Lewis's scheme, but he doesn't he doesn't balance it enough. He doesn't balance it enough, man. He's running the ball when he should be passing. He's passing when he should be running. That's that's all sch- schematic. Yeah, he is playing injured. Yep, Letitia Johnson, yes, playing injured. He had to go in and get another shot. Quarter zone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Phil. Next year, he is going to be a problem for sure. Shador got to. Yeah, yeah, the fake on the run plays. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's another thing. I, I mean, he did a lot of things terrible tonight. I was watching him, man. I was like, oh, God, you look terrible tonight, Shador. His instincts just weren't there. Now, what, you know, it's funny because, you know, in that, that third and fourth quarter, he started. They started moving the ball. I was like, okay. He it was like he he at that point he knew he had to. You see the sense of urgency that how the team responded when they had a sense of urgency? They need to have that same intensity for all four quarters. The first the first quarter should have been like, oh, we're down, we're losing, we need to score. You get you get what I'm saying? It's a mindset, man. And some teams have it and some don't. You got to have that killer instinct, man. But when you got an offensive line like that, how can you really, how can you really, you know what I mean? If you can't trust your offensive line, then what do you expect? What do you expect? So, like I said, man, it, it played out, it plays out the way they play, period. It plays out the way they play. If they play good, they win. If they play good, they win. They play terrible, they lose. And then there were times where they where they, where they all lost it and started getting penalties when they shouldn't. Shador lost like I forgot how many yards, uh, uh, eleven yards on one one first first down. I was like, oh god. Here we go. Helping them to beat us. Yeah. Yeah, Stanford did, man. Daniel. Right, Daniel. Just handing the ball off. Not even a bootleg or something. You know, a fake bootleg. You know what I'm saying? See that proves my 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 point, Daniel. Scheme. You notice that they're they're too predictable. The scheme is too predictable. There's nothing. There's no the, the play action isn't there, man. It's it's just like why wouldn't you 
hand the ball off and fake a bootleg rollout and then make like you're passing the ball. You you get what I'm saying? I'm telling you, man. You're right, Daniel. You're totally right. So in that case, when you do a play action again, you can actually hold the ball and roll out and then, and, 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 and kind of keep them off balance. And then you can just pick your shots down the field. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, man. You're right, Daniel. That's why I say scheme, scheme. The schemes are wrong. The schemes are wrong. And these kids are are are, are these kids are, are are running around in circles like deers in the headlights. Deers in headlights because the stuff is just not working. You know what I mean? And there's so many other areas. So many of so many other areas, man, that need fixing. I don't know why Dion didn't allow Brett Bart alone and um coach flea to come in and run this offense and defense i just don't i don't know why they did an amazing job at jackson state it worked there so you know I, i'm just wondering uh, you know maybe it was the big names you know charles kelly and sean lewis but we see now man that shh, i don't think we would have did any it, 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 i i think we would have did very well with with Brett Bartolome calling plays and, and Coach Flea at um at defensive coordinator. You're right. That's coaching though. He's been doing that since week one, yeah. Oh, you was listening to it? I'm gonna go listen to it, Allie. I'm going to go listen to it. Yeah, man. You know what? Like I said, I, I, I'm, ri I'm riding with them till the wheels fall off. I don't, I don't care what their record is going to be. I know one thing. I know one thing. Coach Prime is not going to have the same staff, the same schemes, and the same personnel next year. Best believe that. Best believe that. We gonna see some whole different. We gonna see something whole different, man. We gonna see one of them. What he gonna mess around and get one of them SEC? Uh, uh, he gonna get some get a S E C offensive line, the SEC defensive line up in here. Watch, watch. He he's taking notes. He know what he got to do. He know what he got to do. But he he really thought that these guys would. Uh, we're, we're, we're going to play above and beyond, especially getting a, a chance and him giving them a chance, him, him believing in them. And, but a lot of these guys just, they weren't put in the right position to succeed, man. Cause I've seen, I've seen teams with smaller defensive lines have success. I've seen teams with um, subpar offensive lines that have had success because you, you scheme around it, you know? We tried today, but they kept they kept they kept running Dylan Dylan Edwards up the middle. Get him out in space, man. Get him in space. His 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 specialty is making people miss, man. You know, and don't get him the ball too late. You got to get the, give him the ball in stride. I know Shadour was was getting him the ball really really late in the flats, man. He really couldn't do what he wanted to do. You got to give just give him the ball. You know, yeah, yeah. And our receivers were just running around in circles, man, because Shadur was just scrambling, and they couldn't. It was nothing they can do. Was just sit there and just watch him get sacked and hurried, and Yeah, Allie, Allie, don't even listen to that. I don't listen to that mess. How many coaches do we know that come in the first year, man, uh, uh, from a 1-11 team, man, and, and, and you know what I'm saying, and turn it around overnight, you know? 
what Coach Prime did was miraculous, and you see how we still struggling. But like I said, it's deeper than that, you know. You say Dion says Shadur was hurt before the game. Yeah, he was. He was. He was. He's been hurt since that UCLA game. Backup quarterback is is uh, truly a downgrade from Shadur. Severely severe. Nah, severe. I mean, if there was more time on the clock, man, this team would have had a shot. But if you notice on that last drive, there was no sense of urgency. You notice how Shadur was just allowing the clock to just run and run, and there was no sense of urgency. They, you know, I saw that in, in the, um, I forgot what game, oh, in the USC game. They did the same thing. Let the clock, let the clock, you know, just unnecessarily letting the clock run out, man. Yeah, you know, if you're trying to win, try to win, you know. You know you're going to need time. I guess they were just putting it on their defense, hoping that they would. Uh... And I'm, s wow, this is so much, man. It's so much. There's so many elements to this thing. So many. This thing got so many legs, man. I don't know what else. To, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, kicking onside kick, but that, that's just the thing. They don't even have a kicker that can kick a proper onside kick. Mata is the one that should be kicking kicking the onside kick because he's a soccer player. Ah, see, Ali, Ali, he didn't give a straight answer, right? You, listen. In my video, listen, weeks ago, I called out Pat Shermer and Sean Lewis and Charles Kelly. Here's why. Because, like I said, from a football perspective, and I've played and I've coached, it wasn't right. And Pat Shermer is in the booth. So he's the eyes on the field for for uh, for Sean Lewis. I said to myself, something's wrong here. So Coach Prime saw that there was something wrong too. So what he did was he put the play calling in the hands of Pat Shermer. So if Pat Shermer doesn't pan out, he can kill two birds with one stone. I know I mentioned that already earlier, but that's a genius move. You you get what I'm saying? Because now you see that the problem, where the problem really lies, is the scheme. It's the scheme, man. Like I said, we have the players. We you know, you adjust, you adjust, you adjust, you adjust. You know what I'm saying? And uh. Because that was my question coming out of half. I said, can, can Pat Shermer adjust for the second half? And we didn't see that till the fourth quarter. You know what I'm saying? We didn't really see it until the fourth quarter. When it sh we we should have been seeing uh, it earlier than that. You know, we should have been see we should have saw it in the first half. We should have saw the adjustments on the fly. You know, but we we didn't. Yeah. Yeah, Coach Prime is a, is a genius, man. He knows what he's doing, man. And and, and I kept talking about it, but I I was I was like I knew it was going to eventually happen with 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 Sean Lewis. 
And I was like, Dad, Coach Prime, don't wait too long. Don't wait too long because you can still salvage the season. You know, don't wait too long. But he did kind of, you know. And this is this ain't the team that you want. This was a tough team, man. I mean, they're not the best, but they they they're tough. They're ranked. And, you know, so like I said, my expectations weren't that high in this game, you know, especially cha- switching things up. It wasn't that high for this game, you know. And like I say, when, when one's doing all right, the other one's terrible. When the, one's doing terrible, the other one's all right. You know, I'm talking about the offense and the defense. You know what I'm saying? Like, but the defense has been playing better, man. I, They've been getting the turnovers. Just ain't capitalizing. You think he bringing in Byron Leftwich? Oh, my goodness, I hope so. He bringing Byron Leftwich. It's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. We need Byron Leftwich. We need Warren Sapp. And there are tons of great offensive coordinators nators out there bro in college right now tons of them tons of them tons of them and defensive coordinators watching a video the other day of all the ones that are available a lot of brothers too they were brothers too i was like okay that are successful that are that are that are having big success right now because you got to simplify it make it simple for these kids man I think Sean Lewis's offense was a little too difficult for a lot of these guys to adjust to and grasp. You you get what I'm saying? You know, and and it was fast as well. You know what I'm saying? So, and and our offensive line wasn't. Uh, so that's a lot. Those are a lot of working pieces, man. You got, you know, next year. Trust me, Coach Prime knows that next year he ain't gonna have no excuses for addressing these trench issues the scheme issues he knows it so like i say it's a win it's a win it's not a loss this is all a win for coach prime because he he's taking notes right now because he hates losing when you got somebody that hates to lose they make changes <laughs> they make changes Yeah, yeah. Look at that. You hear what Simon Johnson said? Let me put that up, man. Let me put that up there. He said, unfortunately, he should do his hurt and can't do much with his legs. As bad as it may seem, they only lost by seven points. Can you see what I'm saying? Don't you know they, they, they should have won this game? All they had to do was score, score ten points in that in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the uh, um, first half. I mean, you know, thirteen and all. A touchdown and a field goal could have won this game. But what I what I what what I notice about this team, right? They'll get a three and out here and there, but when they really, really need a stop or when they, you know, really, really need to stop, it, 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 I see so many, so many discrepancies in these defenses, man. I'm like, why are they lined up like this? Why are they lined up like this? Why are the linebackers crashing? Why aren't the linebackers staying put? Why aren't the linebackers filling these gaps? Why are they... Why are they running to gaps? And the holes are opening up on the inside. Or they run to the inside gap and the holes are opening up on the outside. It's just it's schematics, man. It, it, they're not putting them in the best position, man. And, and it's, it's frustrating to watch, man, because I, I see it. Yeah, Ali Ali, he used to call he he's got experience calling games. He's got experience. 
Yeah. When he was at Truth, he called all the he called he called all the plays. He was offensive coordinator at Truth. Brett Bartalone can call some a game, man. Brett Bartalone, the the wide receivers coach. Dude, come on, man. You got an offensive coordinator and a defensive coordinator there that won two SWAC championships. Like, dude, what's the difference? Just different personnel. You know what I mean? Better personnel. And they ran and passed the ball. It was balanced that at uh, 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 Jackson State. Absolutely. Absolutely, Miss Renee. Absolutely. Yeah, he don't want to do it. You're right. He shouldn't have to as a head coach. He shouldn't have to, but, hey, he can't do any worse, right? <laughs> well, like I said, Sean Lewis, they came out. They came out, man. They came out. Their first three games, man, you know, did their thing, man. Then it went downhill from there. And I saw it. I saw it. I'm telling you. I'm gonna tell you what turn what what where I started seeing it. The the game where I started seeing Sean Lewis screwing up was the USC game. It was like there was no he wasn't trying to win that game. When it counted, you know. Yeah, Miss Renee. It might he Coach Brian may. Shoot, Coach Prime might have to tack that salary on to his. <laughs> he said, I'm going to be the offensive coordinator and the defensive coordinator. Let me get that money. <laughs> nah, he, he can't do it. If you got somebody like a Byron Leftwich man in there, man, and you get you a good, solid um, defensive coordinator. And, and you know what? Another thing, man, it, he, here's what I call these schemes. You know, you, there's a difference between bland food and soul food. These schemes are bland. They ain't got no spice to them. They ain't got no seasoning in them. You know what I'm saying? So they don't quite know how to utilize the talent that we have because they don't have, they don't know how to season the food, man. They don't know how to season the schemes because your scheme has to um, cater to your talent and they don't quite know the talent man because i can tell who they're subbing in and out i'm like dude what are you what are you putting these dudes in the game for they just don't know man they don't know man it takes somebody it takes somebody who 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 who's uh who has some swag to him man to 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 recognize who should be on the field and who shouldn't you know what i'm saying don't put just put people on the field because Oh, this is a, he's a really cool guy and you know, he's very intelligent, but is he athletic? Can he get to the ball? You know what I'm saying? Like some people are just out there in the way, man. And and I'm sorry, man. I mean, the kid has done some great things for us, but Trevor 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 Woods is not very athletic at all. He's really not. Don't get me wrong, he, 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 he's got the best, some of the best instincts I've ever seen in a football player, but instincts don't win you games, man, a lot of times, man. You know, I've seen him getting beat tonight a lot. I've seen him out of place tonight a lot. I'm just saying from an athletic, from an athletic point of view, man, he's not the, he's not the most athletic guy. And I'm still asking, why is Demoy Kennedy not on that defense? He's the fastest defensive player out there. Why is he not on the defense? He's tall. He's long. He he's got instincts. The the boys played on both sides of the ball. So why isn't he out there? 
Why is Demoy Kennedy not out there? I, I I'm trying to figure that out. I didn't see much of Taj Austin in this game. I I, I just don't know. I don't know. Then then I seen Kamani at the end. Come late, I see Kamani. I don't know why Kamani didn't didn't just redshirt, bro. Just he just wasted a year to be subbed in and out once or twice a game. I I I I I mean, dude, come on, man. I get it, but still, man, I wouldn't I wouldn't throw my season away, man, for this. I I, I would just redshirt. I would have done what Alt McCaskill did. That was the smartest thing you could have done. Yeah. Yeah. Miss Renee, you're right. It's odd that some of them aren't on the field. Yeah. Oh, he didn't dress out? J Jerome? Okay. All right, Jerome. I was wondering where he was. I was wondering where he was. Cause he should have been he should have he, he should have been out there on that field. But uh Derek was out there. Derek and um and Jordan. You know? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you Levante Levante Bentley played his behind off tonight. He played his behind. He was everywhere tonight. I was watching him. I was watching him. Yeah, he just he just uh bolstered his uh his draft his draft uh worth, you know. Juju was kind of quiet tonight. I seen him in there doing his thing, but he 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 was out there. But they got Trevor Woods in Juju's <laughs> spot. Yeah, he should have redshirted. All he had to do was just not play another game. Now he can't redshirt. Because now he's been in four games. You can only, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or is this his fourth? No, this is his fourth. So three, four. Okay, so now he can red shirt. He can red shirt now. Because you can only play in four games. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're losing the locker room too, Daniel. Yeah, because a lot of these guys are, are, are just sitting and, man, we haven't seen... We haven't even seen Pearson on the field. We haven't seen Coffee Taylor Barracks on the field. We haven't seen Victory Johnson. Victory Johnson, I think, had one appearance on the field. Um, man, we got some players, man. We didn't see the linebacker. Uh, Noah Young hasn't been on the field. Uh, 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 they, they have. They probably have and, and, and you know, just subbing in and out. To give guys a breather, but dude, let me just say, tell you something, man. Pearson and and uh, uh, Coffee Taylor Barracks, them guys can play, bro. They can play. Uh, I didn't see what's called on the field either today. Uh, 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 um, our other safety, my um, slush. I didn't see Slush. I didn't see him. I see uh, Ward out there. Roderick Ward's out there. Uh, no Travis J. Travis J. may be redshirting this year, so he can have another have a year of eligibility. Only seen him in one game. Um, yeah, but there's a lot of players, man, that we haven't seen. I'm wondering why we haven't put this kid in kick re kick return or punt return. Um, uh, 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 um, Robinson, Nate Robinson's son. That kid's a speedster at punt returning, kick re 
turn. And he's he's little. I mean, man, I, I I'm I'm just saying Assad Wasim. He's he was one of the best kick returners in punt returners in high school, man. Like, I mean, the guy, they just some certain these guys have instincts, man. Pump, well, I, I know most of the time we can't I don't I'm not not necessarily kick return because we don't we don't return a lot of kicks. They usually kick it through the end zone. Um pump return. Yeah. This is a lot of players. Adam Hopkins. We haven't seen him on, on offense but a couple of times this year. I didn't see um also didn't see our other receiver out there. Number uh number six. Yeah. But uh it is what it is. Jimmy was cold today. Jimmy's dropping balls. Jimmy looked like he kind of losing his his. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't expect these guys to be high anymore, man. They know they're gonna, you know, it's a lose. They're losing right now, but they got a chance to win two more games, man. Three games. All they need is two. Go to a bowl game, man, and, and take a shot there. Win that bowl game, bro. That's a whoa, man. Colorado will be upside down if they make a bowl game and go and win it. But it don't look like I just don't see it. Yeah, yeah. You gotta let you gotta let Weaver you gotta let Weaver ride, man. Weaver, Shane Cokes, um, there's there's a few guys, man. You gotta let ride, man. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is, Daniel. That's what that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. He's let he's letting him uh he's letting him run it because he's a senior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he needs all the stats that he can he he can he can get for that draft because he he's going he's going in that second third round, man. Cause uh, he he's the second he's the second uh, receiver in um, the Pac-12 right now. I know he's got over 700 yards. He's second in receptions in the Pac-12. Is what I'm, that's saying something in a pass happy Pac-12. That's saying something. So I know he's gonna get drafted. I remember somebody commented that they need a few knuckleheads on the team. <laughs> yeah, Miss Renee, they need a couple knuckleheads on the team. Yeah. Let me see. Jimmy drop went too many balls. I would rather see Mario Emilio out there. Yeah, but you got to keep Jimmy out there because Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy will. Jimmy got that blinding speed that could take it to the house. Omarion doesn't have that type of speed, but he does have great instincts uh, running routes. Marion's one of the receivers that that will can wear wear a defender down. Jimmy's just that threat, man. You know, but I noticed that they don't, oh, man, I don't know. They're just not utilizing the talent right. That's why I say schemes, man. They're not utilizing the talent right, bro. Isn't there ain't no seasoning, man. They ain't putting no seasoning on the food, bro. You know, that's why I say it's good when a, when a person can relate to a player and they can relate to athletic ability, they can relate to strength, they can relate to the different attributes of each player and put them in the best possible position. You you get what I'm saying? That's a skill within itself. And a lot of these, these, these coaches don't have that. They really don't. They really don't. Because the most athletic linemen should be on that field. Not the biggest. The most athletic linemen should be on that field. Guys with good footwork. I look at I look at our our, our line our, our tackles. They don't have really good footwork, man, at all. And you got to man with them with them guys coming off the edge. You got to have really good footwork. They're big, yeah, but they get beat a lot. That's what I'm saying. He's not a good route runner, 
but he need a couple jump balls a game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, did, I didn't even see, uh, I, I've seen what's called out there, Javon Antonio out there briefly. Javon Antonio be running by receivers in practice, and we, we, we rarely see him, you know, getting in any, uh, uh, going up top, you know what I mean, on streak routes during the game. Well, he did when that, that big, that big, uh, Against Arizona State, that big catch at, and at the end of the game, that that was cool, but uh, yeah, we don't see that much. Yeah, Jimmy dropped too many first down, and Jimmy's hands. I thought Jimmy had the second best hands on the team besides uh Travis, man. But uh, I guess Jimmy. I don't know. I think he's anticipating, uh, you know what he's doing before he catches the ball and secures it. Did Bishop play tonight? I'm not at work and couldn't tune in. Oh, Miss Renee, I didn't see my guy all night. I don't know why they're not utilizing Bishop. You know what? I would have started using, uh, after seeing Jack Bailey get beat, a thousand times, I would have been like, "Why don't they just put Bishop Thomas in 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 that guard, just to see how he how he pans out?" But I didn't see him in there at all. I didn't see Bishop Thomas at all. They got Bishop Thomas playing on special teams. I'm like, dude, come on, man. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm telling you, man. Oh, he's suspended. What? Oh, yeah, they can definitely beat Washington State and Arizona. Oh, of course they can. Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, Ali Ali. Well, shoot, you know better than I do. Wow. Yeah, he didn't play last week. Oh, uh, he must be suspended. He done done some something, something crazy. You know, Coach Prime, he can't he can't play no favoritism, man. On that, if you mess up, I don't know. Might might be school related. Who knows? Something. It's got to be something. Got to be something. Wow, I didn't know that. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, man. I, I, I love my guys. I'm a ride with them. Like I said, I'm a ride till the wheels fall off and, 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 and beyond. You know, um, my favorite player of all time, of all time, is Coach Prime, Deion Sanders. Dallas Cowboy fan. So, Whatever he does, I support him and and will always support him. I love what he's doing. I know this is just the beginning. I know it's going to be way better next year. I know it's going to be way better next year. We're going to compete at a high level next year, no doubt. And I can't wait to see what he puts together from what he has right now or what's left of what he has for right now, I expect a lot of these guys to move on to other programs. Uh, and they got to be careful with that because, you know, you mess around and go to <laughs> somewhere and be sitting or you go somewhere and you ain't getting the notoriety that you should. You know what I mean? But uh, that's just a part of it all. But, yeah, man, you know they coming. They coming to Colorado. Trust and believe they coming. Hopefully Jordan Seaton uh got a chance to really, really firsthand see with his own eyes and say, Oh man, I can I know I can do a better job than that. I'm coming. We need that kid. We get that kid. Lord have mercy. What 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 a cornerstone that will be for this for this team next year because you know what's going to happen. He's going to attract other players. Oh, I want to go play with Jordan. Oh, I want to go play with 
with with with what uh I say a walker. I want to play with Jeremiah McCrimmon. I'm telling you, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be different. Oh, I swear I was thinking. That's what I was thinking, Serene. Serene Johnson. I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, yeah, yeah, academic issues. He's got he's got to get that right. But I don't understand why why there's no reason to have academic issues in college, man. There's always help. There's always help, man. And that means that he he wasn't. He wasn't he 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 wasn't prioritizing, man. I think I think uh, Jeremiah is redshirting. I think he's redshirting. I think that's smart for him. Yeah, get in on that next one because he can play guard or tackle. That kid, I call him Mister Pancake. I I got a video I did of him. I call him Mister Pancake because that's what he do. He puts people on their back. He's mean. Him, just like Jordan Seaton and um, Isaiah Walker, they're mean. See, that's what you need on your offensive line. You need mean, mean dudes who, who that listen, they, they, they get, they, 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 they ain't satisfied till you're on your back. That's the kind of offensive lineman we need. These guys, if you watch them when they play, they ain't satisfied till you're on your back. That's the type of offensive lineman you need, man. They mean, like they play with a chip on their shoulder. Our guys don't. Our guys don't. They don't play with a chip on their shoulder. It's like they're playing to to survive, you know. These guys are are, are, are you know what I mean? These guys are predators. You need predators on the defensive and offensive line. When you got a mean offensive line, man, like Bama and Georgia, Ohio State. Teams like that, man, them dudes is monsters, man, and they mean. Yep, Todd Busby, winning heals all wounds. Let me see. Them boys young and probably struggling to juggle school and football. Colorado professors probably don't cut any slack. No, no, Miss Renee, they got help. They got help. They just, there's no way that he should be failing. They got help. They got staff that help. They got coaches that help. Like you know, they, they, there's um, there's they have they have all the help they need. So there's no way. So he must have been screwing up, screwing around, and 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 procrastinating or being lazy or you know what I mean. We already know his personality. He's you know what I mean. He he. He ain't taking care of business because, like I said, there's no way he should be, no way he should be failing in school. Because because you should be communicating with your professors. You should be communicating this to individuals who who can who can help you to get through it. So he's slacking. That's why he's suspended. He's slacking. Yeah, Allie, Allie. He said you need mean. She said you need mean guys that'll take your lunch. These guys are taking lunch money, go buy lunch, and then eat it in front of you. These are the type of guys that these guys are. Yeah, yo, I, and you know what? I don't, I don't blame Jeremiah McCri- uh, uh, uh Jeremiah McCrimmon. He's like, I don't want to be a part of this line. I don't want, to- <laughs> I don't want to talk about me. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They eat in front of you, and then they be like, "You gonna be you? You, you, you know, I'm gonna take your lunch money and get in the mouth." Man, we used to have lunch. We, we, well, I don't know about you guys, but we used to have lunch tickets when I was. <laughs> I done gave away my age, man. But we used to have lunch tickets, man. And be like, "Yo, I want your lunch tickets, dog." Somebody take your lunch tickets? Oh man, they would talk about you all week. So and so got his lunch tickets taken away. <laughs> T 
T-Bone took his lunch tickets away. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, boy. He said, A.K. Hey, knuckleheads. Yes. Yeah, them knuckleheads, boy. We need them. We need them bad. Mm-hmm. Shoot, we had guys, uh, you know, there were players like Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson would would go to classes and 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 uh, go to sleep. So what does that tell you? Bo Jackson used to go to class and go to sleep. So what does that tell you? If you play well enough, there's somebody, somebody got you, man. Somebody got you. When I was in college, you know, because I was a starter. My coaches would go and talk to the professors if I if I missed an assignment. You you get what I'm saying? Like it's, I'm telling you, it's it's a lot more political than you guys think. So Bishop had to really, really be screwing up, bro, and just not doing anything, bro. There's no way. There's just no way. Yeah, taste a humble pie, but it's going to make them better. Yes, I pray it does, Todd. I pray. If the Buffs didn't give up that TD right before I have to, it may have been a different story. Absolutely would. You remember we was in the red zone. We had to settle for the uh, three points. Yeah. I just don't understand why they played um, Breed Love um, the majority. Um, uh, 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 uh. You notice how they took out um, Amarion Cooper and they put Breed Love in? Breed Love's not a better defender than Amarion Cooper. And if you ask me, I believe that um, Kamani McLean's a better defender than any of them because of his length, because of his instincts. Some of these guys, you just gotta, you gotta let them, let them play, man. You just gotta let them play. In high school, we had a running back named Jesse Webb. He broke every single high school record you can think of rushing the ball. And guess what? He did nothing at practice. He did absolutely nothing at practice. He's the laziest person you've ever seen in your life. But when you put him on the field, he was a totally different animal. I can remember we played a high school game, and he scored seven touchdowns. All seven of our touchdowns he scored by himself. Give him the ball, hit the sideline, he's gone. Give him the ball, hit the sideline, he's gone. All seven, and he didn't practice for nothing, and the coaches didn't care. Some players just perform on the field, and I believe that's how Kamani McLean is. Put him on the field, and he'll perform. And you know what? A couple guys, I was watching a couple uh, uh, podcasts where guys were saying that. They said, Kamani's just one of them players, man. You just got to put him on the field, man, because all players don't practice well. But when you put them in the game, yeah, Bishop would be all right. I know we need him, man. Yep, that's right, Todd. That's right. Many of them are practice players, man, but they come out. It comes out. I agree. I totally agree. 100,000%. 100,000%, man. I, I, I totally agree with that, man. But I know one thing, man. We're going to be good. Let's see, Komani may have to.
Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree, Miss Renee. He's it's gonna be uh, Coach Brown's way on the highway. So Kamani's adjusting to that right now. He gonna get it. He gonna get a shot. He gonna get his shot. But you know what I know about these kids today? They're different. A lot of these kids are different. That's why we only we only see a few come out, a few a, a few that make it and become stars, because those are the guys who work who who have integrity and they work they they work when nobody's looking. You understand what I'm saying? They, they we don't we, you don't see that too much today, especially with the social media age and the distractions and all the other crap. You you now we saw them play a plenty. Um, in the past, because guys came up from nothing. I mean, absolute nothing. No Christmas. Uh, uh, daddy in jail. Mama, mama, mama on drugs. And you know, you know what I'm saying. Like these kids came from the dirt. You know what I mean. And a lot of these kids aren't like that no more, man. They just ain't built that way. So they ain't willing to work as hard, man, because it's like. Especially now with 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 nil and collectives and stuff like that, some kids just don't they just don't they don't have it, man. They don't they don't have that extra, man, that pushes them into that superstar status, man. And see, that's who Coach Prime is, and he knows that's what it takes, man. If you want to be great, but he realizes it. That's why he always mentions it. He says a, a lot of y'all don't want to be great. A lot of y'all just going through the motions. You know, you know, he always mentions that when he's talking. You know, and where does that stem from? Your work ethic, your work ethic. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we're going to have more of these. I don't know. Maybe in Utah, I don't know. We talking practice, practice. <laughs> Time must be done pulled out the AI on me, man. Why you do me like that? <laughs> we talking practice, practice. Nah, I'm just talking about working, work, working. Um, uh, 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 during during off season, just working during off season. Because if you working during off season, man, when you come into practice, shoot, like they say, if you practice. Like you play, when you play, it'll be like practice. Yeah, AI said practice. See, AI could say that. AI could say that. Yeah, entitled generation. Entitled generation. Plus, I know a quality coach how to push certain buttons with certain players. You... You have to be flexible, absolute. All facts, all facts, Todd. All facts. Mm -hmm. What Coach Pine is really doing when he's giving those speeches, he's trying to separate. He's trying to get rid of the excess baggage, so that Louis luggage can 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 shine. He getting ready. To, he getting rid of the excess baggage. He's trying to run you off. Because if you don't want it, you're going to run off. If you want it, you're going you're gonna to step up to the challenge. People took that all wrong when he came in and says, y'all better hit the transfer portal now because I'm bringing my, my luggage and it's Louie. What he was doing was that was psychological. He was trying to see who the real dogs were. The real dogs were like, man, I ain't going nowhere. I know I'm going to get me a spot. That's why Trevor Woods playing. That's why... Van Wells was playing. You you get what? That's why Tank's playing. You know them dudes are like I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, that's what he does, man. He don't want nobody there that don't want to be there. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. I don't want nobody that don't want to be there. Cause that that affects your locker room, man. That 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 really really affects your team chemistry, man. You don't need them dudes in there.
I know you was Todd. I know you was agreeing with me. I know you was. I I, I was I was I was I was I was just I I was I thought it was funny. I know you was agreeing with me. I like I I I that's AI man. AI said that. <laughs> when, when I see when you when you put that uh, uh, LOL at the end, I I knew you. Was, I know what you was talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to expound on it a little bit because I know what you meant. I know you was agreeing. I know for a fact you was agreeing. Yep. And we got to take into consideration some players are just special teams players. Some players are just uh, uh, um, practice players. You know, that's why they got practice squads in the, in the, in the, in the, in the NFL. You know, some people ain't going to never make it to the team, you know. Same here, because if they ain't seeing something special in practice, man, you might as well get, 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 get ready to go. Yeah. If you got a scholarship and you don't pan out, you can stay on and get an education. It won't. They, you know what I'm saying? They got a, They got a new rule now. If uh, if you if you um, take a scholarship away for football, they can still stay on and get an education on scholarship. That's how they do it now. We're going to see a few of them. All it is, just going out there and, and stand out, man. The ones that transferred this year are stuck. Yeah, they're stuck. I see some of the defensive players growing. Jordan Dominic has some play. Jordan Dominic is, is that guy on the defense. He's that guy. Him and Travis. Him and Travis. Shiloh, Shiloh got to brush up on some things, man. Shiloh frustrates me, man. Missing, missing tackles and stuff. Bentley too. Bentley, Bentley's that guy. But Jordan Dominic is NFL bound. He's NFL bound. He, he, he is definitely going into the NFL. Probably second, third round. He's leading the team in sacks right now. I think he's got five. I want him to get like five more, man, before the season ends. Get five more, man. Shoot. Yeah, he can go second, third round. Yeah. He's he's also he's also a senior, right? Yeah, Jordan's a senior, a senior as well. Yeah. Shoot, Jordan. Jordan got his graduate in um uh 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 what is that? Um bio something. It's uh science. Uh I forgot the name of it. But um yeah, he he he's he's uh his studies have to do with um, athletics, you know, the body, the study of the body. And, um, you know, like if you're a trainer in the, in the NFL or in a, in a, in a, in a college or whatever, we're at whatever platform or industry. Um, but yeah, that's Jordan. I forgot the name of his, It's only for that one year. Okay, I got you. Yeah, for that one year. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. It's only for that one year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what these dudes. 
because I think Colorado had two players that uh, quit the team earlier and uh, they allowed them to stay on to get education. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, y'all, we're going to wrap it up. But, uh, man, I appreciate you all for um, hanging out and talking buffs, man. I love the buffs. Riding with the buffs. Going to continue riding with the buffs. Uh, Coach Prime going to get it together. He ain't got no choice. Because uh, the proof is in the pudding, man. And we all know the cream always rises to the top. God got him. Um. God bless our team. God bless our journey. God bless where we're going. And uh, I know this team's going to make it and it's going to be successful. Uh, once again, I thank you all for coming through. Allie, Allie, Serene, uh, Todd. Wow, it's too many in here. Daniel, so many in here to mention, but I really appreciate you. I appreciate y'all. Um, I meant is chosen. Okay, thanks for going. On. Oh yes, yes. Thank y'all for being here. Cause without y'all, this this just doesn't work. Period. You know, I I esteem you guys. You know, because uh, you know, I could be in here talking to myself. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's right. He's about to set them clocks back tonight. Oh, shoot. Good night. A good morning. Yes, indeed. I got things to do. This is my time. I'm a night. I'm a night hawk. So I'm up. Uh, I'm going to be uh, making some videos, editing some videos. Please subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't. That really, really helped me out. Helps us help the channel grow. We're trying to reach 10,000. We're at nine something now. We're trying to get to that 10,000 mark and beyond. But uh, we'll be here. We'll be here next week and the next week and the next week. So stay tuned and we'll be putting out videos throughout the year, 2023, 2024 and beyond. Because we're here. We're here. You see it on the screen. Let me put it up. Let me see you on the screen here. Y'all see it there. Buffed up TV. We're here. We ain't coming no more. We're here. But blessings to all of you. <laughs> May God bless you and your families in every way. And keep you safe from all hurt, harm, and danger in this wicked world that we live in. But uh, we'll see you guys soon. We'll be back next week. And uh, I'll post early so you guys will see. If you hit that bell icon for notifications, you'll know when our next time. Todd Busby, first time to the show. Enjoyed it. Oh, man, I appreciate you, Todd, man, for coming through, man. I'm going to go through and give you guys a wrench for um, also moderators. I'm going to go, um, when I go back through this video, I'm going to give you guys a wrench as a moderator. And my, you guys know, I don't know if you guys know what moderator is. Moderator is just somebody, if somebody comes in and they're posting uh, stuff that we don't like or that's anti buffs we just we 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 can just eliminate them from the channel time them out give them a time out and you know let them know that you know we all buffs in here all right see you soon miss renee todd ali ali love you all blessings see you soon <laughs>